All right, so now we're talking about solving systems using elimination, okay? So systems of equations, once again, two or more equations with two or more variables to solve for. So here's the steps. Line up equations with x's over x's, y's over y's, and equals over equals, and constants over constants. In, every, in other words, everything lines up perfectly. Pick the easiest, oof, easiest, <coughs> Oh, there's duh. variable to eliminate by adding by the addition of the two equations. Okay, if there is none, make opposites by multiplication. And once you have distributed fully, add both equations, thus eliminate one variable. Okay. Step number five is solve for remaining variables by division, and then now plug into the other equation and solve for the remaining variable. So if we come up with our straight up <coughs> equation, let's do. Uh, 2x minus 5y equals 7 over 3x equals 4y plus 15. There we go. Okay, now if you notice, if I try to line them up one under the other, I got x's over x's, which is good. Equals not over equals, so I need to minus this 4y to both sides. So I would literally minus 4y from both sides. Okay. And then I would have right underneath it. <coughs> Let me see. 3x minus 4y equals 15. Okay, and then now it looks a lot easier. It looks a lot better. Okay, so this stuff I would get rid of it and just continue to move on. So now that I've moved it over, okay, so that's step number one. All right, step number two is pick the easiest variable to eliminate. Now, at this point, it's pretty much a toss-up. You could either get rid of the uh, 2x or the 5y. I'm sorry, you could get rid of either the x's on the left or the y's on the right. None of them are more easier than the other, so I'm just going to pick the x's because why not? Okay, now, if there is none, okay, make opposites by multiplication. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this problem and I'm going to multiply the bottom by negative 2. And I'm going to distribute it throughout the entire equation. So it looks like this. Now this one up here, I'm going to distribute a 3. <coughs> Now, as I work on each one, I'm going to rewrite it beneath it. So it's going to be 6x minus 15y equals 21. All right, that's the first equation. The bottom one is going to be negative 6x, okay, uh, plus 8y equals negative 30. Okay. All right, so that makes your job a whole lot easier. Okay. Now, when you go on from here. Okay, you're going to add both equations. Okay, something as simple as this. So I'm going to straight up add everything. These are going to cancel out. Okay, and what I'm left with is I'm going to have no x's, but I'm going to have a negative 7y equals uh, negative 9. Okay, all right, because that's the 21 plus minus the or plus the negative 30. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is divide both sides by negative 7, so I get y equals 9 sevenths. Okay. Alright, so I picked the easiest one. I just picked x because it's easiest, or sometimes it's easier. Uh, if there is none, make opposites by multiplication. I did that in this step right here. Okay, once you've distributed fully, add both together. That's the hardest part of elimination, and now it's just solve for the remaining variable. We did that by division. And now plug into the other equation. So I now know why. I'm going to take it and plug it into one of these first equations, either here or here. Okay, and I think I'll do the bottom one first. Now I'm going to pretend like the 2 isn't there. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and start working it in. So it's going to be 3x minus 4 parentheses 9 divided by 7 equals 15. 
Okay, and I just solve it like usual. 3x uh, minus 36 sevenths equals 15. Okay, and then I'm going to add 30. Well, let's go ahead and add it. Plus 36 sevenths. Plus 36 sevenths. Okay, now if you notice, this is 15 over 1, so I need to convert it. And so when I convert it, it's going to be 15 times 7, 105. 105 over 7. So this transforms into that. Okay. And then all of a sudden, I have 3x equals uh, 141 over 7. Okay. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 3 which is also the same as multiplying by one-third so x becomes 141 over 7 times 1 over 3 which becomes 141 over 21 okay and if you try to simplify it any further you're going to find that it's just darn near impossible Okay. Now, you're obviously allowed to get the decimal, but this is going to be the exact answer. So just as you guys are working through this stuff, just make sure you take your time to understand what the problem's asking you're working with. Now, the reason why we've been getting such funky answers is I've been coming up with the problems off the top of my head. Sometimes they'll look a lot nicer, but this is an actually a typical hard problem, okay? Something that's easier might look like this. Okay, uh, let's go X minus 5y equals 12 uh, 3x plus 5y equals 20 there we go okay so if you notice the y's already off the bat are already opposite so I don't need to do the step number three which is make opposites by multiplication so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add them I'm going to add them by adding the two equations together. And so I get 4x equals 32 and x equals 8. And then I can easily find out what x uh, what y is by plugging into the first one because I got 8 minus 5y equals 12. Okay? I take, well, I take and I minus 8 from both sides. And I get negative 5y equals 4. Okay, and then I divide both sides by that, and I get y equals. Uh, negative four fifths or if you want you could say four divided by negative five although I'm honestly going to tell you right now that first one is going to be the way to go okay all right but that's it for solving systems using elimination you just want to take your time and just follow the steps and it should be very easy to work with okay thank you very much and have a great day bye